Hi guys, once again this is Alfred from BinaryOptionsTutor.com I'm back again with my first little uh, live uh, trade of the year on the counter exchange. Uh, as you can see I got um, four I got um, four little contracts on over here uh, again still learning this exchange waiting for liquidity to pick up and then we can uh, scale up a bit more a <laughs> considerable bit more um, we're in a contract right here we got four of these little micros on uh, the contracts out of the money right now let's look at their little chart okay uh, right now we're about five uh, five pips out of the money uh, you'll note that we got we have 40 uh, let's call it about 41 minutes and some change here left on this contract and uh, we got in at 109.30 they're, they're running a little bit they've they've been running all day <laughs> uh, this is Euro USD and it's this would be definitely a counter trend but let's take a look at the logic of why we got in okay right here um, some things that stuck out to me this is our little uh, the count indicator it's free available free on our site we uh, we're very close to the short count and this is R1 this is R2 <laughs> this is R3 so this is this is a lot of volatility and essentially we're trying to sell the volatility now we're out of the money we're still out of the money by four pips but we've got about 40 minutes left also looking over here statistically I can tell that this is the largest swing high in the prior 30 days uh, and we we uh, 109 30 was very close to that we're touching a new swing high in the 30 days uh, so I'm gonna give some consideration to plugging in at 109 40 we'll we'll consider that if the market keeps running like this or we'll just sit it out and we'll see what happens with what we've already got on the table it's again there's no need to run or, or chase the market and what's going on and this is a counter trend you don't want to get too caught up in uh, trading uh, against the predominant trend of the day Euro's been running all day. Uh, we may just uh, take it, <laughs> you know, take it on the chin and uh, come back to trade another day. We may try and work our way out of it also. But I'm going to wait a little while. Uh, I'm going to pause right here and we'll, if, if anything changes, I'll see you guys on the other side of the video or if I decide to sell out early because that's another option as well the option of just taking it um, taking what I can get for the contracts I have which right now isn't much <laughs> but maybe I take that and roll it into some contracts at a higher number you know that's a possibility as well so uh, we'll we'll see we'll see what's what's best what's what's really logical for us uh, and we'll we'll make that decision again always thinking it's not just about uh, strategies and I just explained this the strategy the logic that got me in but really the advantage that you have is is just the the intuition and the you know the the mind that <laughs> God gave you as I've mentioned before in these videos see you guys on the other side once again this is Alfred 
from BinaryOptionsTutor.com. Okay, guys, we are back. The market will appear to be, you could, well, <laughs> uh, there goes a little jump there. The uh, market is moving in our favor. We got that bounce. I was trying to get this tape, so I really missed my best spot. I saw it as high as 81. 81. Uh, may have to. I'm just probably going to exit here because let's look at the time. There's like 20 something minutes left. Again, this is a counter trend. So I'm going to be a little more uh, liberal with the opportunity, uh, with what I expect. Because as a general rule of thumb, if I'm trading counter trend, uh, it's not, again, like I said before, it's not something to hold on to. So I will usually leave early, which probably in most cases, especially when you see a, a nice pop, like I saw a pop all the way. I paid about 51 cent a pop for these little contracts, and I saw it go to 81 that was a good place to exit right there um but i didn't want to exit <laughs> and explain it later i'm going to close this is the spot option platform for cantor and i'm going to use the close here because someone asked why was i using the other um buttons i mean there are some redundant buttons i'm going to do another video about that but um, this is i guess the way they want you to close out the contract by coming over here uh, doing an instant or close and I I don't like to have a lot of slippage there we go okay I'm I'm not going to confirm that That's because price moved too much for me here we go What we're going to do is we're going to sit right here and we're going to confirm it when the price gets to where we want the price to get to. That's another little thing to consider. There, there are two steps here. And you see if I would have clicked to confirm at the other price, then I would have actually ended up just, you know, not getting what I wanted for the whole thing so I'm just gonna have to wait uh, if a presentable price comes along which now I don't have a chart in focus but I can tell you that the market is just moving against me and that's why when you see those pops like you know you've gotten in at 51 and you see that pop up to 81 there's only 19 cent potential left in the contract or 19 percent of the total value of the contract that's a, a very good sign that it's time to exit especially in the bet itself was uh, counter trend so it's not something that you know as time goes on the trend is going to move that ocean in your favor uh, it's something that's uh, actually not you know in sync with the with the actual um, trend in the market so I'm waiting here I'm hoping I can catch another exit this is profitable because I paid 51 cent on average for these but and it's not enough to interest me. I'm just going to see if we can get. They're wrestling back and forth. And I'm going to see if we can get a better exit. What I should have done <laughs> was to already uh, be in this area. And that's usually how I put on a bet. I'll take one of the clicks off the table. And I'll wait in the actual area where I can confirm with one click. Uh, some of it is about uh, learning 
the platform. That's why I was saying, well, I want to learn the platform. And uh, those are just things you pick up if you're just regularly trying to trade over here. Now this is out of the money. And uh, I just missed my opportunity there. It happens sometimes. Uh, you know, it's... Uh, a part of doing business um, there's nothing up here at 40 there's nothing interesting for me here at 35 you can see we're really hovering around that number this is our strike and we're really hugging it okay we just got a little pop there let's get set up Now I'm watching this number here. I'm set up where once I click confirm, uh, hopefully my exit is going to be executed. Uh, we're hugging the number. Time is elapsing. But again, be the way that we got in there's some time left in this contract it was we had 40 something minutes once we got into this contract and that means that there's some time left and it's tradable so this is this is where we get to take advantage of the benefits of trading on an exchange giving yourself the time to really be able to plan not act so impulsively and take the time to actually uh, trade. Now, I want to talk just a sec about the thought process. Is my time is running out on this contract? Now, I'm going to have to get a little bit more uh, liberal. Let's say, is the time persist here? Because I'd rather leave with something than to leave with nothing now we're seeing some nice pops if I can see a, a nice aggressive pop in the price that's the place that I'll exit even if I can't get 81 and the reason is because again there's this little hourglass now that's me And you can see I've exited there. Now, there's this little hourglass that's running. And that hourglass, that sand was shifting on the time when there's actually profitability left in that contract. So, that's why I decided to, to uh, go ahead and sell. Now... I was back at 81 if if time would have persisted and and I still couldn't get it back to 81 <laughs> as my time winds down I'm going to get a little bit um, uh, looser like I said and maybe I took uh, 75 you know maybe I took uh, 70 maybe I took uh, uh, 68 you know because I got in at 51. Another part of this is I was trading basically at the money. And when I got in, I got in at 51. So there was 49 cent per contract left there. Um, this is a minute chart. So it's a little easier to see. And you can see we're hovering back down. Uh, into that area we're still below the strike over here and this this contract may work <laughs> but again that's really uh, we're trying to capitalize on the benefit that we have of being 
able to trade in and out and uh, just take everything to our advantage that we can. Now we're back hugging the strike, but at this point it really doesn't matter because we left with 81% of the total value of the contract. That's all I had, guys. This video is already a little longer because of the time it took for the execution, but uh, that's all I really had. Uh, the run is probably over. Again, it was the count and the statistics that got us in. And uh, all of everything that you saw me use in this video really uh, is available free at our website, um, binaryoptionstutor.com. Once again, this is the Cantor Exchange. Um, you can find out more uh, about this um, broker uh, or this exchange, I should say, because this is the actual exchange at uh, the Cantor Exchange counterexchange.com also cxmarkets.com also on our website binaryoptionstutor.com once again this is Alfred like share comment subscribe if we've helped you please help us by sharing uh, this information with others